Hello, everybody. This is Julie D from Nordonia Hills Dat News, and this is Jabbering with Julie. Whew, man, do I have a lot to tell you about. Oh, it's going to be a busy week. Anyways, uh, let's get right to it. So um, just so you know, there's no contest winner this week because I'm saving up for a big prize to give away at the expo this Saturday. But I'll talk more about that later on the show. However that is. <sighs> but first, let's, well, before we talk about this team, let's talk about this team. I just want to say congratulations to the Browns for having a great uh, game against Cincinnati. It's very exciting to see our Denzel Ward run 99 yards in for a touchdown. Uh, so we're real proud of him and uh, he did a great job. So, and then our Nordonia Knights played in the second rounds of the playoffs Friday night and they played Willoughby South and won 42 17. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of good football news around town here. And interesting note, our very own Coach Fox used to coach for Willoughby South. And Kareem Hunt was on the team. So he coached Kareem Hunt, who went on to play for the Browns. And as everybody knows, Coach Fox also, when he was here, you know, he's the coach here. And while he was a coach here, Denzel Ward was also under his leadership. So we are very happy to have Coach Fox and and his um, his wisdom for sure. So Nordonia goes on to the next round of the playoffs. They play Ho they play Hoban, and I believe the location is neutral in Ravenna. So if you're looking for tickets, you know you have to have to give OSHA a call <laughs> or the school. Um, but we're real proud of the. Um, Nardonia Knights, they did such a great job, and it was really a nice night for football. It wasn't raining, <laughs> and, um, you know, it was a little chilly, but at least it was clear, clear of rain and any white stuff that, you know, sometimes likes to come on down, and um, so also at the football game, I thought this was a great um sign you know the ball boys that help out during the game um this was during the um national anthem so i thought that was a, a great picture and uh, i'm telling you those kids get a lot of exercise they're always running around during the game and let's see there's other news from you know and and the football the, the football team is only part of the story obviously there's cheerleaders and fact speaking of cheerleaders um, tonight, and I'm recording this on Monday night, November 8th, the cheerleading um, team is competing tonight, if I can click on my note here, at Brexville Broadview Heights uh, competition. Let's see if I can extend this and find out more. Um, yeah, so they're competing tonight at Brexville Broadview Heights High School for the Suburban League cheer competition so we wish them luck and more competition for our band our marching band who did a great performance um at the the game as well in fact i can send you a link so you can watch it now i don't have the overview so you can't really see the the um the patterns that they're making but you know i'm on the sidelines here getting a different perspective on their performance. But I'll put links uh, down in the description so you can check it out for yourself from that angle. And um, so anyway, speaking of the band, they just earned a superior rating uh, this past weekend at the OMEA state finals competition. So, you know, it's really exciting being at the games because there's a whole lot going on. There's the, the student section and then there's the, um, the, you know, the regular fans and the, there's the bands and the, the football teams and the coaches and even the little ball kids running around. And it's just really kind of like a very exciting atmosphere. And, you know, they throw up the, uh, the talcum powder if you haven't seen that, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I have a video for that too. And um, our student section has a lot of energy. I've been to some other 
high school student sections and they look bored, but ours is really um, very pepped, pepped and excited about the game. So good news all around for that. Oh, let's see, where shall I move on next? Oh, well, since we're talking about school, um, Dr. Joe Clark, our superintendent of the school district put out that Lee Eaton is now returning to the mask mandate. Um, and um, they are, the school is providing free vaccinations for any students who um, are of the correct age. Um, it's not, the vaccine is not mandated, but they're offering it. Speaking of the school. Oh, all right, so this is a big deal. <laughs> this Saturday, I need your help. And actually I need your help in a lot of different ways, but in one way I need your help. I need you to grab as many friends as you can and come to the expo this Saturday. And you're like, what, the expo's in November? What happened, Julie? Well, let me tell you, COVID. So we were all set to have the expo in March of 2020. And I believe it was like three days before, shortly before our event, that's when everything shut down. So we were not able to have the expo last year. And this year, we were hoping to have it again in March and things weren't quite back to normal. So we could, so we're not allowed to use the facility. So here we are in November having an expo, but it'll be good. It'll be good. We have the, the gymnasium is packed with over 70 vendors. We have all different types of businesses. I bet you there's some businesses there that you don't even know we have here in town and you would be excited to see. But the great thing for you is it's free and it's fun. We have a food court. Oh, let me, I have a, let me see. I can at least tell you what's um, on the food court because the great news is Reinecker's is providing the, uh, the food. So um, they're gonna have, um, let's see. Oh, I should say that the proceeds benefit Nordonia High School PTSA. They're gonna have hot dogs, chili, pulled pork, chili or mac and cheese, um, and nachos, snack, and Spanato's pizza. And, you know, of course, beverages. So there will, there will be food for you. And entertainment. Let me tell you about the entertainment. Oh, let me check that out. Don't want to miss anything. So Momentum Church is um, going to be putting on a performance, as well as Shaolin Kung Fu is going to be doing demonstrations and Namaste. And the um, Bud's Rock and Frock Fashion Show will also be going on. Uh, around 1 30. Now we're doing something a little bit different this year. The entertainment is going to be in the auditorium. So, and then we have sound equipment that we are renting and a crew from Invasion Studios. If you've seen my interview from a month or so ago, um, you would know those dudes. Oh my gosh. So um, the expo, I mean, if you talk to me this week, I'm probably going to mention the expo in some sentence or form. It is like such a big thing. There's a lot to do. I'm, I'm just, you know, one of the people on the committee and um, it's, it's going to be fun. What I love about it, and I actually joined the Chamber of Commerce more than 20 years ago at the Expo because it's the one event that brings the business and the community together. And, you know, hopefully we'll have a good crowd. Um, but it's, there's just something about it. And now more than ever, we need to support our small businesses and we need to support the Chamber of Commerce who has been there in the trenches, even during COVID, um, you know, providing lots of help and, um, you know, wisdom for these businesses that needed to navigate these unprecedented times. So by coming, all you have to do is come and walk around with your friends, you know, Maybe, you know, grab some pizza, um, you know, check out one of the uh, demonstrations and you, you're, you'll be helping a lot of people. <clears throat> Isn't that amazing? And, um, you know, I'm hoping you can make it. It's from nine to three 30. And um, I just, I just can't talk, talk enough about it. And it's just, it's just one of those things. And who doesn't like a free event? You know, there might be some pens you could pick up. A lot of the vendors have candies and oh, forgot to say 
this is a circus theme. So some of the vendors are actually going to have games that you can play. So won't that be fun? So let's see. Oh, which reminds me, I have breaking news. Breaking news. Of course, you may already know. Because you guys are fans of the show and you're like on the inside scoop. But our newspaper is back. NordernHills.news newspaper. Just in time for the expo. Oh my goodness, this was last minute. So last minute. <sighs> but anyways, um, so at the NordernHills.news table, you'll be able to pick up a fresh copy of the latest um, newspaper that just coming out Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. Um, if you don't have a chance to get it at one of the locations that you usually pick it up. And also at my booth, there'll be a way that you can sign up for social media classes, um, starting that up. It's been a while. I'm actually doing them bigger than better, bigger and better than ever with the classes that you can take. You can learn, you know, how to do social media, why to do social media, you know, who's your target? What should you post? When should you post it? You know, uh, what platform should you use? Should be, should you be on TikTok? I have. All the answers for you and let me tell you it's really sometimes hard for me to pat myself on the back but i've been doing social media since 2008 i'm an early adapter and you know definitely um believe that it is a great way of getting information out in fact i'm the one that dreamed up the whole idea of nordoniehills.news doing um the way that we put information out on social media I had never seen anybody else do that. Now there's been some copycats since then, but um, what we do is not easy, but it is a lot of fun. And um, if you know what you're doing, social media can be fun. But it, one thing that is kind of uh, annoying is how they keep changing things. You know, Instagram keeps changing this and that. And so I can help you navigate um, the, <laughs> the perils and pitfalls of it, but um, Anyway, I just love social media and I have from the very, very beginning when I went to a conference way back in 2008. And um, it's just it's just a very easy way, just bloop, put something out and lots of people can see it. And there's nothing more powerful than that. Hopefully, you know, you would use it for good. Now, you know, we're, we try to keep things positive. I mean, we have to share the bad news sometimes, but we go out and dig for good positive stories to put out because that's very important you know the balance has to be right all right so let's see what else um so if you follow us on social media you will be hearing a lot about the expo this week all right let me see what else i have for you like i said there's just a lot going on um well speaking of the business world there is a new dermatology company in town, Optima, here we go. They are going to be putting together a new facility. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> here we go. I don't know why these things, you know, hide from me. It's really not, it's really rude. I had this all ready to go and it just disappeared. Da, 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 here we go. All right. So their, pra their new practice is open. <clears throat> Optima Dermatology in Macedonia provide convenient access to a broad range of medical dermatology and cosmetic services. Um, so basically their mission is to provide greater access to expert dermatology care and they want to work with, um, you know, the the community, and um, and beyond for sure. So they're temporarily located at nine one one East Aurora East Aurora Road, and they're going to be building this new fifteen thousand square foot state of the art facility, which is underway at the crossings in Gold in Golden Link. So this is going to go in between Culver's and Chipotle. So won't that be refreshing? I, I think people probably kind of hoped that that was going to be another chicken place. <laughs> uh, uh, but no. Um, but of course, you probably did hear about some chickens, right? So 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch some old shows. Um, but we do have, um, we'll have more information hopefully in the next couple of weeks about some of the other restaurants that are coming to town. In the meantime, this is gonna be beautiful. I can't wait to see it. I love when they break ground for new stuff. You know, I just like new stuff in general. All right, moving right along. Um, so this, I don't know what this reminds me, driving around town. Another thing that you can help me with, please. So as a lot of people know, Highland Road should be opening soon there um, between Old 8 and Route 8. It's just a little cut through, but boy, do we, <laughs> do we miss it. They've been working on the bridge for over 100 days and it appears to be done. So we're thinking that maybe they're waiting on um, the final approval or inspections, um, but the light is now functioning at Brandywine and um, Old Eight, sorry, Old Eight and Highland. That light is now functioning as of Friday. So we're thinking that maybe someday this week the road will open. So here's where you can help. Let me know. I can't be sitting there on the corner waiting for them to open you know, the bridge or the road so we can access, so we can drive across that shiny bridge. Um, so if you happen to see it open, let us know. Um, you guys know how to get in touch with me. Get in touch with us on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or I'm sure you can find me. Smoke signals, that may not work. But um, yes, everybody, this is like the big question. When is Highland going to open? People send me messages all the time and I want to know as well. When I did ask, they said, oh, you know, maybe mid-month. So oh, I don't think anybody that I knows know. So, all right. So another um, business um, news. Well, this is like a more an event. Roseland Lanes in Oakwood is having a Santa holiday shootout. So I will have this information. Of course, you can't read it here. It's crazy. Um, I will have the information in a link below so you can get all the information about that. And speaking of Christmas, which reminds me of Christmas trees, Hugo, the famous Christmas tree guy that usually has his stand in Norfolk Village. <sighs> okay, so here's the scoop. You know, sometimes we find out information before anybody else. And um, sometimes that information changes several times. <laughs> So um, I, had, I had mentioned on a previous show that Hugo was going to be in a different space with his trees this year. But alas, those plans changed. So he is, you may have seen, setting up in front of Peppers. In fact, speaking of which, he is looking for help. Just by any chance, tomorrow is the ninth. If you um, would like to help him, uh, I can put the phone number down below but he needs some, some people to help him unload the trees tomorrow. And um, he will be operating the day after Thanksgiving, nine to nine until the trees are gone. So um, if you're um, wondering where you're gonna get your tree this year, worry no more, just uh, give Hugo a holler. I'm sure he'd love to have a nice chat with you. Speaking of the village and holiday shopping, well, not really shopping, but that's, that's what I want to talk about. I wanted to remind you about this hidden gem. What's really not hidden, but uh, been treasures in Norfolk Village. <sighs> Let me tell you, you know, I know the bins sometimes look kind of crazy and there's a lot of stuff in them. But if you know where to look or spend, you know, a lot of people go there every Saturday and they kind of like know how it works. You can find some really nice things. And with the holidays coming up, I definitely want to urge you to support local businesses. So um, this is another way that you can help the community. You know, I know that you can order a lot of things on Amazon and, you know, other places, but please consider buying some things from some of our local shops. You know, for example, um, Blossom and Bows and uh, Longtail Knits. And there's just a lot of really interesting stores around here that you might have forgotten about. You know, we have local jewelry stores, you know, like Will's Jewelers and uh, Don Bosch. And um, again, I, you know, we're going to have a shopper's guide on our website and also in our newspaper to try to encourage you to shop local. But 
There's just nothing like walking into a store and picking up what you want and having it right there. How about that? You order online, it's a question. They say it's going to be in, in two weeks, is it? And the further you know, that we go out or the closer we get to the holidays, the more iffy that, look, you know, that shipping could be. Um, so again, all I'm asking is to think twice, like, hey, before I buy something online, is there a place around here I can get it? You know, and search in the Facebook groups. <clears throat> Ask a friend. There may be, you know, something, uh, you know, a store close close by that has what you're looking for. Um, so anyway, that's my that's my bit about that. And if you don't know Bin Treasures, they're in the Norfolk Village. And the reason why uh, it looks like this, it, this used to be the Dolphin Restaurant years ago. Um, Dolphin has now moved in Macedonia, kind of like around the corner from Achieve Nutrition. Uh, oh, by the way, I stopped in uh, Achieve Nutrition this weekend. Oh my gosh, is their stuff so good. I had a um, s'mores shake and a an, um, mango tea. Oh, so good. And oh, here's a little hint. I might have picked up a gift card that's going to be a part of the big thing that you can win at the expo at my table. I don't think I finished telling you about what I was going to have at my table. So I did mention the social media classes and I went on that whole rant about that. And of course, I mentioned you could pick up the newspaper, um, but advertisers. Um, oh, yeah, I did mention my social media classes, but I forgot to show you that I have a new logo for Spider Cat Marketing. That's my uh, social media company. So that's that's the new look. So um, I want to show you that. And then, um, um, so the other thing is advertisers. Oh, I really shouldn't say this, but here it goes. You know, I always say things when I'm not supposed to, but there may be a way where you can get a discount if you visit my table at the expo. Maybe a little card game you can play. Just saying. That's just for businesses anyway. You know, I always like to have fun. Let me go through my list here and see if I covered everything. It, you know, it always seems like I forget something. Um, I do have one more thing I want to talk to you about. Oh, yeah, here's one. <laughs> this is kind of funny. If I can line this up. Anyways, let's say you're shopping for somebody and <laughs> you just don't know what to get them. And maybe they're a fan of the show. I do have these shirts available. And I also have some other slogan shirts, like what's that noise? Did you hear the boom? Do you have a coupon? Um, my favorite season is football season or wine season. So I will put a link down below so you can check out what we have to offer. I'm telling you, it'd be kind of fun. You know, we we'll actually have mugs too, as you remember the, the mug of fun. Um, I actually have these mugs. I think somebody would get a big kick out of it. That was under their Christmas tree, but you know, I'm a little too close to the situation. Uh, let's see. Let me see if there's any other any uh, tidbits hanging around that you should know about. Um, you know, I can always save them for next week. That's for sure. I think I covered the big stuff. And I'll let this, you know, like once again, I'll put the links in the bottom. But hold the phone. One more thing. <sighs> okay. So... I, um, I just want to let everybody know that I just recently, you know, went to the doctor and found out that I have bursitis and some high cholesterol and everything. So, you know, I'm going to be making some changes. Um, I do have a Facebook group. I think it's called Let's Get Healthy. So I'm going to be posting some of the things that I learned there and maybe some healthy snacks and different things that, um, that can do. And this way I know where they are. <laughs> it's kind of like my little notebook. So if you're um, if you have some things to share, you can also share that information in the group about maybe something that you did to get healthy, um, you know, because let's get healthy together. Maybe you're on the same track as as I am, but you know, I try to keep things transparent, let you know what's going on, and you know, maybe I can uh, get healthy. And um, you never know, you might have advice for me. How about that? You never know. Well, I think I've overstayed my welcome today. So I'll talk to you guys next time. And please come see me at the expo. Well, you don't even have to see me, but just go. Bye, everybody. <laughs>